my channel. So, as you can tell by the hat, the sorting hat, it is time for the Panning Solitaire update. And uh, this right here, I decided I was inspired by Nikki Tutorials video from a long time ago. And I decided I was going to go ahead and let the sorting hat decide which house I'm in and bring in colors that are based on that house. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my uh, update because I do have one shadow finished. It is the bronzy shade that I brought in last time. I ended up pressing this into this pan and I used it and I loved it and it just really inspired me to use more bronze. And so it's just, I love it. I haven't used a bronze shade in a really long time and it was just, it was so much fun. Now this one right here was originally a blue shadow from the Makeup Revolution palette. And uh, I also, I so what I did was I ended up frankening it, which I told you guys last time that I was gonna do that. And I did that with Antique Red, I think, from A to Z. And this is where I am currently. It was originally full. I'm getting kind of sick and tired of this, but you know, it's almost gone hopefully. And this is sort of like a, like a bluish purple, but it pulls off more blue than anything, but that's okay. At least it's a little tiny bit purple, I guess. But, you know, it's one of those lying shades. But when this is done, that'll be just, that'll be great. And hopefully it'll be done by the next update. Now, I did debate on whether or not I wanted to go ahead and bring in a trio this time. Or for me, it would be three shades because I have so many in projects right now. But you know what? I figured, why not? Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so we're going to see where the sorting hat is going to place me this month. Because, you know, I like to stay in different houses. Where where are you? Where are you? There you are. There's nothing hidden in your head the sorting hat can't see. So try me on and I will tell you where you ought to be. Okay, so I am in Gryffindor and I will be right back with three eyeshadows that represent Gryffindor. Okay, so I chose three shades, which are an array of scarlet and gold, which is exactly the what the Gryffindor colors are for Harry Potter. And it took me a minute, not gonna lie. So the first one I'm gonna show you is this one right here. This one is actually a Franken shadow that I went ahead and made, and this thing is huge. So yeah, I have a feeling this one is gonna take me a bit. Uh, I don't know why I'm even bringing in a, a three more shadows because I'm so overwhelmed with other shadows. But either way, this is what this looks like. It is kind of like a goldish type of shade, but it's like a, uh, I'd like to say a burnt gold. I, I don't know. J just go with it. Just go with it, okay? Because, yeah, I really wanted to bring this in and it's kind of gold and kind of like a, it's kind of like a cool tone gold. That's, that's how I kind of look at it, I suppose. And then I decided to bring this one in right here. I am not sure which palette this is from. I want to say it's Urban Decay, but I'm not exactly sure one of the Vice palettes, but I'm not sure. But that one is definitely a gold. So I'm going to be bringing in this one. And this one, I know which one it's from. It's kind of janked up. But this right here is from the Emily Noel palette. And this is the burgundy I'm going to be bringing in. I love this shade a lot. As you could tell, I did use it a lot. It is thin. So yeah, and that's what that one looks like right there. Kind of burgundy, reddish, pinky, red. Yeah. So those are the three that I'm going to be bringing in. So hopefully I can get some of these done because next month I'm going to be bringing in four because I am insane. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!